The IDF announced the expansion of ground operations against Palestinian groups in the Gaza Strip. Immediately following the announcement, the most extensive bombardment of the enclave since the escalation began commenced. To expansion, in this context, signifies conducting deeper raids within the enclave. There is no mention of the commencement of a full-scale ground operation yet. Over the past two days, Israelis have carried out several such actions, with varying degrees of success. On the night from Wednesday to Thursday, Israelis carried out a raid in the northern part of the Gaza Strip, but the actual results remain unknown. However, the raid on Thursday night to Friday from Maghazi and Burej did not end in success. Palestinians reported a successful ambush and the capture of Israeli military personnel. A similar attempt to land marine forces on the beach near the city of Rafah also ended in failure. As a result of the ensuing battle, Israeli Defense Forces soldiers were forced to retreat. Simultaneous to these types of raids, the Israeli Defense Forces continue to reduce the enclave to ruins with air raids. According to Palestinian claims, all communications in the Gaza Strip have been severed, including an internet blackout. In response, Palestinian groups continue to shell Israeli cities, but the scale is incomparable to Israeli strikes. Cities affected include Tel Aviv, Rehovot, Petah Tikva, Ashdod, and Shoham. Hezbollah activities on the northern border has decreased, but due to the expansion of Israeli ground raids, it may increase once more. Israelis respond with counterattacks and set fires along the border to hinder the covert movement of Lebanese units. On the West Bank, Israeli forces continue mass detentions of Palestinians. In Hebron, a member of the Palestinian parliament and a university rector were arrested. Clashes broke out in Jenin, and Israelis used drones. In Tel Aviv, relatives of those held hostage by Hamas held another protest. Protesters marched from the government building to the Egyptian embassy, demanding action to free the detainees. Yemeni Houthi militants from the Ansarallah movement attempted to launch a rocket strike in southern Israel. However, the projectile hit the Egyptian city of Taba, resulting in at least five casualties. An attack occurred on an Israeli military base in Dalak in Eritrea on the east coast of Africa. According to Lebanese media reports, an officer of the Israeli Defense Forces was killed in the attack, although there is no other confirmation of this incident.